So as soon as we started observing the sky in Chile, we were transferring these images back to our computers at Harvard as soon as they came in, and we all frantically brought them up in our computer screens and looked for new sources that appeared. And really what we expected was that we wouldn't find anything in real time, and we'd spent the whole next day processing these images, trying to find some sort of faint little detections of possible candidates. But what actually happened was that one of the first giant galaxies we looked at, there was an obvious new source popping right out at us. So this was an incredible moment. Uh, I think one of my collaborators saw it first and sent an email that I can't quite repeat, uh, but, <laughs> but I will never forget. And after that, our email inboxes exploded. I mean, there was every team in the world was looking at this thing and trying to compete to say things first. Uh, it was a night unlike any other I've had in my career. The spectra that we obtained from SOAR and Magellan looked like no spectra I'd ever seen before. On the first night, it was quite blue, but showed almost no spectral lines, which is very different from another source like a supernova, for example. But what was really incredible was how quickly the spectrum changed. On the very next night, it, most of the emission moved from blue light to red light, and there was a very sharp peak in the spectrum. The next night, the, spectrum, the spectral peak moved even further to the red, and by the next night, it seemed to be dominated by the infrared. I've, I've never seen a spectrum change so quickly from one night to the next. And that was really the confirmation that we were looking at a kilonova. What the unique optical spectrum of this event showed us was that it was producing a great deal of heavy elements, things like gold or silver or uranium, all these really important substances here on Earth that previously we didn't know where they came from, though we had long suspected that neutron star mergers were a promising source. But now we know for sure that without these neutron star mergers and the associated uh, kilonovae that produced these heavy elements, we wouldn't have our gold rings or our nuclear reactors here on Earth. 